Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Starkville Octobaha County School Board has adopted a new non traditional calendar that will go into effect for the 2022 23 school year and beyond. Starting in July and ending in June, the new academic calendar is designed to provide more breaks for students and teachers as well as help address the different learning needs of each child. Stephen Pimpo spoke with educators today about how they think this schedule will help, and he joins us live in the studio. Audrey Winston, turns out I was ahead of my time because all the way back when I was a kid, I always wanted more breaks during the school year. And the Starkville Octibaha County School District agrees. It's not just students who have a tough time making it through the school year. End of September and, and through October, I've had teachers share with me about how they're already burned out and tired. We all dragging by the end of Christmas, uh, looking for Thanksgiving and then from Thanksgiving looking for Christmas. And that was before the pandemic disrupted classrooms across the country. Educators have to be open to change and understanding with the last couple of years of COVID strains that has been placed on the education system as well as our students learning. For the Starkville Octibaha County School District, that change is coming in the form of a new non-traditional calendar for the 2022-23 school year. It gives us uh, opportunities within the school year to address the learning needs of our students. The new calendar still features 180 regular school days, but will now start in July and end the following June creating 13 intercession days. For some students, these intercessions offer them the chance to participate in the more personal, enhanced, and advanced learning programs. For others, it's the chance for a few days off during the fall and spring. Armstrong Junior High Algebra teacher Xavier Perkins will be one of the teachers helping with the accelerated learning for students who need time to catch up and improve their grades. That'll allow us to take care of it as the year progresses and hopefully that will curb students failing the class and having to worry about taking it in the summer. We can deal with it throughout the year. Enhanced learning gives students the opportunity to explore internships, job shadowing, or advanced classes. To go beyond and do some hands-on uh, experiments with uh, things that they're learning and putting some of it to work. And with the extra breaks during the spring and fall, the hope is that teachers and students can bring that same first day of school energy throughout the year. To refresh ourselves and come back with fresh eyes, fresh minds, and hopefully a renewed spirit. Dr. Passant says five or six school districts across Mississippi already have or plan to have similar calendars in place, and he expects that number will only grow in the future.